starting at the desktop, we're going to launch Carlson Civil 2020 and show the power of Dynamic CAD feeding into Precision 3D Hydrology, linking the 3D design work to CAD output in real time. So once this loads, we're going to select uh, Civil Demo, which is a file that is delivered with all releases of Carlson Office. And we're going to go to Dynamic CAD. But before we do, in the Civil module, we're going to go to Triangulation Surface Manager, Surface Manager, and set up, be sure Civil Demo with Trees is our single and only TIN file. This is the one we want. And that's the one that Dynamic CAD, when clicked here under Precision 3D, will load. This will launch Dynamic CAD directly and we'll turn off the CAD layers, double click the tin, turn on our low points right here, and you'll see those little yellow sticks here as before. Click on our storm sewer icon, go over to our structures, use our sag inlet, our sag 10 foot inlet, switch over to our manhole on the downhill side, inlet, go back to our sag, put those in at these two low points, and finish out in our head wall. And there we see the low point there, just place them right there. He goes right in and finish the command. Now, if we window in close, on manhole two, you can see there's the there's the lid on the downhill side, and there's the pipes coming in underneath. It defaults to 12 inch diameter in this design. Now you can go and do a tributary. This is actually lower than the main line, so it's going to have to lower that inlet and do kind of a drop catch basin, which it does automatically as you're about to see. We'll come in. And here's how you do it. When you connect to an existing structure, you get a diamond, accept it, and finish the command. So uh, you'll notice that we have a nice drop catch base in there. It held the first pipe so you don't have any excessive trenching, but it had to lower it to receive the tributary. Then it lowered it appropriately the rest of the way out. Now, what's interesting is um, we created manhole six and seven from who knows where. We just made those, and that's and they're just they're just um, enumerated sequentially. So everything's done. Go back to the CAD and the model space. It's completely drawn over here. There's our 12-inch default sizes. And uh, you can even go into the profile and do draw profile within the hydrology module, go under the network pull down, draw the sewer network profile. And these are where you control your settings. My downstream structure is the head wall. We'll go from MH1. And you'll see that drop inlet in profile view here. This is where you control all your settings, which you can change. Got your station, rim elevation, uh, your invert. And I'm doing 50 and 5 scaling. And then here is the plot of that. And you can see the, the drop inlet. And all of your styles are determined in the CAD program. And that real-time drawing of the plan view is simply a function of your sewer network setup plan view label settings here. And you can see we've got at and the percent associated with the grade. And there it is, at and the percent. So the CAD just implements and executes what you designed in Precision 3D with Dynamic Cat.